I am excited to offer advice for any young woman who's thinking about addressing race and racism and discrimination and, and any type of discrimination, quite honestly. I think the first thing is we must educate ourselves. I had a powerful moment just three years ago, standing in the museum of, uh, of African-American history and culture in DC. And I was sitting there looking at the document that is really the first time on paper in the United States, a distinction was made about people based on the color of their skin. And it was great for me to be there, even as that, even as that is a painful document to look at, because it helped me to educate myself on the construct of race and how it has been built in this country. It helped me to understand what I already knew, which is we're all pretty much the same, but we have things in place, systemic things in place in our society that would have us to believe that we are different, would have some of us to be oppressed. Um, and so if we don't see them and understand them and know them, we can't fight them. And so I would say, educate yourself, understand the discrimination that you are fighting, understand why you are fighting it. And, and I would say, don't be afraid to be wrong. If you are going to fight discrimination, you are going to be told that you are wrong. Most discriminatory, oppressive systems are in place to protect someone in power. You will not fight them and be told you are right. You will fight them and be told you are wrong. You've got to get comfortable with being told you are wrong. But you've got to educate yourself so that when you're right, you know you're right.